Hey guys, welcome back to the Captain's Log. I have Cora Bolts, and she is a not only your local Instagram influencer, but you've been doing this everywhere. And now you've got a big event going on in Miami that you're hosting. Tell me about it. It's exciting. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So I am hosting an event out at Sagrado Cafe in uh, Miami on Biscayne Boulevard. And I'm inviting local influencers that are going to network, have the opportunity to network and socialize with brands who are looking for influencers, as well as other influencers who are looking for other influencers to collaborate with themselves so what do you do I know that you do a lot of stuff with, with the gram you're on the IG all the time I love and the you've gram. been growing your following and you've been becoming this influencer tell me about how it started and what what the goal is and uh, you have all these influences people might not know what influences are okay so an influencer is a modern-day buzz agent which would be considered somebody who influences the opinion of others before you go shopping before you buy a new car you might ask your friend you know I don't know tell me what to get if you trust their opinion well these influencers these modern-day influencers are taking the opinion leaders and translating it into their own influence and you know advertising to the general public as right. being the person to go to when you have questions about simple things like that so um, there's a whole different I mean there's so many things that I've done to get me to this point there's I mean between hashtags and tagging people yep. um, it all started with the idea that I wanted to run a website I wanted that creative outlet I didn't know the first steps to take I didn't even know how to design a website I downloaded Squarespace I created oh, a template. Did you do it? Did you make it? I did it! I made I've done a website. That a few times. Yeah. <laughs> it, it took a while to uh, get the hang of it but um, I had to email them quite a few times to ask for very simple stupid questions and they're kind of like you know read the guide but, of course, yeah. Um, I finally got the hang of it. Um, I've only been doing it now for about five months. So it is a work in progress, but it has been majorly but you've, successful. Yeah, in five months, you've come a long way. I have. You I've broke 10,000. I broke 10,000 followers. Which is huge. Week. Yeah. Because now you can do the swipe up. <laughs> I can do the Everybody swipe up. Everybody needs that. Thank God. I'm I can still do trying to get there on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> right? The swipe up is the best feature because it directs people directly to my Correct. website. Yeah, because then you could force people to go right to links <laughs> that you are getting paid to of send course, people to do, course. right? That's the best part. But I know that, you know, we talked at lunch for a minute and you were saying that with the different uh, brands that you're representing and that you're an influencer for, you don't just take every brand on. I mean, right? No, you, of course you not. You gotta do something that you love because people have to know you're passionate about it. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I, I turn down at least, you know, two to three deals a week because it's right. just not the right fit for me. I'm not a swimsuit model. I'm not gonna sell your right. swimsuit products. Yeah. I'm a wine lover. I. You know, I love you should love vodka and, and rum. You know, I, love I know vodka and rum. I know a guy. I know a guy, right? <laughs> this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's the that's what I think the whole world's looking for these days is someone to tell them that this product is legit or valuable or it works. High or, quality, yeah, something. You, you know, the Amazon uh, reviews, that for me is huge. Oh my gosh, Yelp is huge. Right? Oh, you use Yelp? No. Oh, I'm a big thumbs down on Not Yelp. Not anymore. No, I hate it. I think it's so <laughs> fake. I'm deleting Yelp. I, the thing about Yelp is, honestly, is that it's a, it's a money game, all as it is. Like, you can have a gazillion reviews out there that they don't pass through because you're not an advertiser. Right. So they'll pass through the negative reviews and a few positive reviews, and they'll pass through all the negative reviews and a few positive reviews, and then they'll contact you and say, hey, we noticed you're getting a lot of negative reviews, but if you go and you look in your queue, there's like 200 positive reviews. Yeah. And they claim that those people know you or they're affiliated with you. Right. It's a scam. Yelp can be. And now people I think have already fi figured that out. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I don't believe in it at all. I think it's a bunch of bull. Yeah. Because why would you not let every review go through? Right. Who are you to say that that review is it's not valid? Right. Of course. Right? I agree with that. Yeah. So that's why Yelp, I think, <laughs> is getting, uh, I think they've the lost their, app. yeah, I think they lost their mojo lately because everyone realizes now, like, the businesses are like, well, wait a minute. We have all these reviews on all these other sites, and unless I pay to be a Yelp advertiser, my reviews aren't going to be posted? Of course. It's crazy. Of course. Like, no. Right. You could do whatever you less want. Of a human. <laughs> you could do whatever you want. That's your business, right? Sure. Like, that's great. That's your business model. <laughs> but you're not going to be the number one brand for reviews. Right. I'm done with them. Right. I'm done with Yelp. <laughs> Everybody's deleting Yelp. Yes. Get out of here. 2019. Delete Yelp. Go home. <laughs>
it. So you told me a couple of fun things, right? Yeah. Which I don't know. I, I mean, if people really got into it and they wanted to become an influencer, some of the things that you're focusing on, obviously, is uh, with the tag. You're tagging certain brands. I mean, you're not going to tag Chili's if you're selling. You know, Why? I don't know. Right. Like, right. so, so you have to tell people, how does that work? Explain that. So you want to be as accurate as you can when hashtagging, when tagging, you know, if it's an outfit. And, and there's a difference between hashtagging. Right. And tagging. And tagging. Hashtagging, you're allowed 30. Allowed 30 on Instagram. Right. And you could put those. You told me a good trick though. You like to put yours in the comments. I like to put mine in the comments because I Which think it's I like. clean. Keeps yeah. your Instagram cleaner. It keep, and clean. She loves the technical I, term. I, yeah, I clean, like clean means when she posts <laughs> that the post is not bombarded. You're yeah, not getting doesn't bombarded. have a ton of right. uh, hashtags. hashtags. You put them in the first comment, you still get found the same way. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good. That's a good tip. Yes. I like that. You can use all thirty. You know, why would you not increase, optimize the amount of traffic on your page at all possible angles? Right. Why wouldn't you tag all twenty people in your photo? And then tag the people yes, in your photo. Yes. Yes. So I kind of get. I get tagged all the time. Is that why people tag, like are tagging me? Yeah, because they probably think people are going to your page. You know, they, yeah. they believe that you're some, you know, in some way an influencer and people are going to your page to look at what you're doing and they right. might check out your tag photos and they want that opportunity to be showcased there. Gotcha. So you think it's okay though to tag as many people as you, as you can up to 20? Oh, yeah. Always. Always. I always tag all And you 20. post it right on top of each other. I put it right on top of each other so that it's not, when you click on the photo, you see a thousand million tags. Yeah, you do it. I do it, it right bump, on top bump, of bump. each other so you can still see my photo. How about the egg guy? The egg guy. Oh my gosh. Isn't that like... It's insane, right? The internet is crazy. He's 19 years old. <laughs> 19 years old. You know, did you look at his tags? I did it. You should look at his tags. Are they funny? No, he tagged like CNN. Uh, <laughs> the Amer he tagged um, Good Morning America. Yeah, he tagged Mashable. He knew what he was doing. He did know what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. But but yeah, he put them all over the place, which yeah. is cool. I get it. But some he tagged Jimmy Fallon. Oh my god! Like he tagged a lot of accounts, and yeah. I was like, interesting. Big accounts, yeah. 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 And you feel like uh, I feel like that. Obviously, that's what helped. Oh yeah. Because why would it, I mean? There's no way people are just gonna follow an egg. Right. I mean, it's just people don't like Kylie Jenner. Like, we I wanna, like we Kylie. I like the Jenners. I don't like the Kardashians. Why not? Because they're talentless. The, the, the Kardashians and the Jenners. I'm, I'm out here trying to both. make it, and they did nothing. No, that's not true. Okay. That's not true. What do you think? How long does it take you to make one post? Mm, about an hour. Okay, so it takes you an hour. So they're posting all the time. And or that's their business. For them. They're not. I think they post. You think? Oh no, I think they do the pictures. So they take the pictures, but I don't think they. I don't know if they take the pictures themselves anymore. Yeah. But but I definitely don't think anyone posts for them. I don't uh, think they don't would know. give somebody that much control. I think Chris is back there managing everything. You think? I think so. No way. I don't know. I don't know. All as I know is who knows? What, they're rich. I take a, <laughs> maybe I'm doing it wrong because I take a pro. My all my posts take no more than like five or ten minutes I need to put more time in you do because you want to be authentic you don't want to be like you know one sentence here and by because that doesn't that doesn't create a relationship yeah you want to share something about yourself share a problem share a um, a win a, a loss uh, share I got plenty of both <laughs> I need to Don't start sharing all. away. <laughs> Share something that people can connect to, that they can relate to. Something that will get people involved and engaged. Yeah. And what what is what's your best post for the most likes and then what's your most engaging post? So the one that I just posted last week about my Miami Influencer event has like, I think right around 960 likes. That's yeah. the most that I've ever gotten on a post, which is really good. Um, I was excited. I thought it was going to break a thousand. This week it's going to break a thousand. Yay. <laughs> um, it did have a lot of um, comments on it. I think though that my most engaging post for comments was my birthday post because a lot of people said, you know, Everyone happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. yeah. Um, things like that. I like asking questions at the end of my post. So I'll like share a little excerpt from, you know, a story or, or something that happened to me that day or right. how I like the sangria or you know whatever it is and then I'll be like what's your favorite sangria or where do you like to buy your sangria or where do you go for sangria you know just to get something a little talking point to get people engaging in your content do you respond to every every comment if it looks like a real account, yes, because I like that relationship marketing. I like building that relationship. I, I hate like, these comments that say, tell me more about your business. It's yeah. like, come on. Right. Yeah. Read a book. Right. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, <laughs> go to my website because that's not a robot asking me that right, question. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. But you so you'll go on there and respond. Yeah. What yeah. about DMs? Uh I'm bad about DMs. If it's a branded deal, I like it to go to my email because I like, you know, that you know, I get to go back and reference it. I, my DMs, you know, they get kind of pushed down. Yeah. My friends. They get you know, clogged up. You're, get clogged you're getting up. all them DMs. Everyone's sliding into your nope, DMs. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's sliding in my DMs. Hey, sure. Kim. How are you? Kim, Alex is on there. What's going on? She says happy birthday. Happy late birthday. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was good. last August. But yeah, that's it's, okay. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's coming around again. <laughs> it It'll is. be right around the corner. <laughs> I'll be 23. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh. That's interesting, though, because so this is like... <laughs> And you're graduating college. I'm going to graduate this fall. Yep. And you're going to be studying? I study marketing and political science. And what do you, what's the future bring? So now that I've had this Miami event for the influencers, yeah. I'm starting to get into a little bit of a event. Of, 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 Here we go. Talk. Hey, <laughs> hit the reset. Event planning. I, I'm starting to get myself into event planning. I think that it's a great opportunity to, you know, be your own boss, charge your own rates, you know. 160,000 for a party. Why not? You know? Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> These Naples people, they love I've they done love the that. event planning. I do event planning every day. <laughs> That's so fun. Because I have 10 events every day. It's called a comedy club. <laughs> and then, but, but the no, we do, club. we do a lot of, um, a lot of luncheons and private events and corporate stuff as well. So, so that's an interesting business. Yeah. Um, you, you definitely, um, it can be, it can be, um, brain teasing it sometimes and sometimes it's like a no-brainer it just depends on what kind of event it is but of course it's they're they're all different in one way or another you have one of your clients is super super extra nice. and then you have the other client that just is like make it happen captain do everything you did the last time or do something like that other event we went to that was spectacular but yeah, yeah, it's not all fun and games sometimes it isn't no. sometimes it's a little hard to get in touch with everybody and everybody on the same page but it, it is always worth it. So you're putting together all these influences in Miami. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be going to, uh, what's the name of the place? Sagrado Cafe. Okay, Sagrado Cafe. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to be doing is everyone's going to be on the gram talking about what? About, you know, the other influencers that are there. We have travel influencers, fashion influencers, lifestyle influencers, food influencers, health influencers, and yep. businesses attending. So we're going to get people with the fashion influencers, with the fashion influencers, the lifestyle influencers, with the lifestyle influencers, just so they can talk about what works for them, what gets them yeah. their content, what, you know, what brands are working with, how to reach out to brands. We have people with up to 333,000 followers that are coming to the event and people that are at like 5,000 followers. That are and what's the, the cost to attend? So the cost is about $15 for your ticket and $20 when we eat, but it's endless mimosas and sangria and cheesy bread plus your brunch. Nice. So, I mean, it is, you know, it's a cafe, it's a business. I still have to make money too, but it is going to be really exciting. I'm super excited for it. We have a photo wall coming in. We've got, we reached out to local vendors to raffle off different items. And I'm going to give you some tickets. And some tickets to the comedy club yes. are always a win. Yes, absolutely. I might even give you a bottle of vodka. Oh my gosh. Should that, I do that? I'm not giving it to the event. I'm taking that one home. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> At least you're you're over the age. The right. The age it's is true. Legal. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> and then tell me about what you do different on your story. Because there's two different things, right? Obviously, people are going to be posting on their timeline and then right. they're going to be posting on their story. Right. Give us some good tricks on your story. So on your story, if you're mentioning a brand, you always want to, you know, actually mention them. You want to tag them in there so that they have the opportunity to see that. And add it to their story. And add it to their story, which Correct. is great SEO optimization. I mean, you just, you, you need that sort of thing. Of course. Um, that's grown my account authentically a lot. Um, getting shout outs from places like... How many, how many do you tag in your story? Um, just, just what's there. If it's, um... You only tag in your story what you're actually talking about. Yes. Of yes. course. Because I don't want to be misleading. I don't right. want somebody to click on that link and they're like, well, this isn't, you know, where the product's yeah. from. Who is this person? Right. Um, when I'm with friends, I'll always tag all five of my friends if they're in the video, you know, um, just to increase their SEO as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Those backlinks are really helpful. Yeah. yeah. But they only last for 24 hours. They only last for 24 hours. I put a lot of things in my highlights. I'm a big craft beer drinker and I'm a big foodie, so I put all the good food and all the good porters and stouts in my highlights just so if somebody missed it on the 24 hours, they can go back and see it. Right. So what do you think, um, you focus all your time and energy on Instagram though, and you say you don't like Facebook. I don't really use Facebook. What about Twitter? 
I do have a Twitter, but it's my personal account, so it's just like some t funny tweets I find okay. funny. So not, not I'm not a big fan there. of Twitter that much, so I, I can agree with you there. Yeah. And what about LinkedIn? I do have a LinkedIn, but it's only for professional um, like uh, excursions, like uh, businesses like that want to hire me actually for like jobs like Gardner and things like that. Okay, but you don't feel like putting any posts on there at all.